Hey people, well uh, I figured I'd show you my other vehicle since uh, you saw my Lexus in the very uh, in the first video. But uh, this is my old Volkswagen Scirocco that I got from an old man up in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And uh, this car actually was sitting in his backyard and I saw it from the back alley and it sat so long that it sunk in the ground and I'll put up pictures on the video of how it was. He was ready to send it to the scrapyard, and that's because uh, he kept taking it to Midas, which is obviously a brake shop, to have it fixed. And <laughs> that's not really where you want to send an old car like this. So uh, I figured I'd take you for a little ride. Let's fire it up here. Come on. There we go. Vibrates a little bit, but... I've had this car since 2009 when I got it from the old guy and uh, I've done a few things to it, changed the suspension, changed the wheels, put a tectonics exhaust system on it, which I like, it's louder but it's not droney. Uh, right now the worst thing about the car is uh, the coilovers I put on it, they're, uh, they're rock core is the brand and they're a divisional race land and that's not <laughs> they're good for the price but after a few years they just die and the struts on these are dead uh, it used to ride pretty well but now it's just rides like a brick <laughs> that's pretty much how everyone describes it when they go for a ride inside of it it rides like a brick windows. Yeah, when I got the car, the main reason it wasn't running is because it has a little hose that feeds the fuel pump, and that hose was kinked. After I fixed the kink in the hose, the car ran, but it didn't run very well. And uh, as some of you may know, these cars have uh, CIS fuel injection systems, and they got a, an air vein and a plunger, and the plunger that measures off that air vein was all plugged up. So after I did that, it's been better and better. So. Well, uh, it's not fast. I'll open it up here and make sure no one's coming. 